G'day Hammerheads, and that's right, today we are getting a little blowy. So this little ray gun looking thing is a miniature blower. It is the 0601. It is available from AliExpress, that's where I got this one, but it's also available from, you know, any of those sort of cheapy junk selling websites. If we look at the box, there does not seem to be any manufacturer, any brand, anything like that. Fully generic, but I will put the link that I bought this one from in the description. So let's take a look at this thing. Firstly, yeah, it blows, believe it or not. It's got some kind of little turbine in there. Claims to turn at 130,000 RPM, which is pretty impressive. And it has a few speeds. So you look at this little indicator here. You can also hold down the button and it sets a few different other levels. They call it a gear. And it also goes in reverse for suction. So if you hold down that button. She's blowing through that way. So yeah, pretty handy little thing. Now this kind of thing is obviously really small. It is probably gonna be a good replacement for your air dusters. I bloody hate these things. Weird chemicals, single use, you know, propellant, flammable, CFCs, HFCs, what a pile of crap. So if you do use a lot of these horrible cans for dusting stuff, consider getting one of these little blowers instead. So in the box comes a couple of nozzles. I usually just use it bare or with that one, but you can also get that little one. So that's gonna be your little uh, electronics duster. And so let's just check the weight of the thing. So the weight is 230 grams and the blow. So on the internet, they demonstrate the, 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 the power of these things, not with you know cubic feet per minute or whatever, but by blowing on a scale. So, well, it's still sucking, sorry. So backwards, it is getting 39 grams. Forwards. One hundred and sixty-two, so not too shabby. With the nozzle, one hundred and forty-five or so, and with the little nozzle, twelve or thirteen. So squeezing the airflow down there, you do lose a bit of pressure. But to give you an idea, just on the hand, it's got a fair bit of force behind it still. So yeah, I do use this thing for general blowing, generally cleaning off your tools and whatever. I haven't used this yet, but I think it's probably pretty crap because this part here does not actually seal. I reckon you've got a fair bit of leakage through there. But anyway, let's give that a try. A little filter sits in there, unsealed. I don't know, oh, I don't think that seal is really gonna do too much, but okay. Like, ha, <laughs> wow. Like that on the front there. Set it to backwards. Okay, so bit of chalk, bit of chalk in the bowl. Let's see if she can suck. Is that the only nozzle? That is. Ah! <laughs> okay, so uh, a fair bit of that chalk just shot right through and blew, <laughs> blew away. <laughs> Yeah, so the vacuum, pretty shit. Uh, it's not so much a vacuum cleaner as a reverse blower. And you're probably wondering about the runtime, so I did just do a little runtime test. Okay, fully charged. Little telltale over here. So there's an interesting safety feature in here. After one minute, it turns down the power to level four. Around 10 minutes, the battery starts to fade. And then by 12 minutes, she's done. And if we take a look at the heat camera, see what's actually heating up. It, it is actually the battery. And at speed four, they sit around 45, 46 degrees for that whole time. So yeah, not too bad. The manual says first, uh, okay, so we're in third, Third gear, six speed endurance, 30 minutes. So yeah, not exactly 30 minutes. Still 10 minutes of solid blowing, pretty good for that. And as you can probably see from here, there are in fact two versions of this. The 0601, which is the green one, and the 0601A, which is this orange one here. <laughs> so this one, she's a little dirty as you can see, 
but this is the first one I got. I got it a few months ago and I've been using it pretty consistently for pretty dusty stuff. Obviously regular kind of cleaning, but I really wanted to pressure test this to see how well it could tolerate dust going through there. And not just normal dust, concrete dust. So if you're out installing safety anchors in concrete or in rock like these ones, you gotta make sure the hole is clean because you glue them in with resin, something like that. But of course the glue needs a clean hole to stick to. So instead of a hand pump, having a power blower really speeds up the process. Now my first solution that I made was this bloody thing. So a full-sized M18 Milwaukee blower with a modified end. That cleans out the holes really well, but as you can see, it is a whole bloody power tool. So as well as a rotary hammer and all the other crap you need to carry on you, you've gotta lug this thing around. And so let's compare the blow of this to this guy. So without the tube, but this thing weighs, <laughs> what is that? Eight times more. So about eight times more weight for a, a full size blower. I'll let you make up your own decisions. So yeah, I was super keen to replace that thing with something a lot smaller, but obviously this is pretty cheap. You know, it's not the most robust looking thing, but the concern is how much dust can this thing handle going through it? So the nozzle on this one, I did modify that to have a little flexible tube on there. Same length as the hole you got to clean out. And so you can actually put it in the tube sort of sideways and blow it down. So this isn't sucking too much dust in, but obviously a lot gets through there. The other thing you can do to speed the process is just hold your brush in the same hand so you can blow and then brush, blow, brush, all with one hand. Super handy if you're hanging off a rope. So I have put a lot of dust through this thing. So maybe 150 actual blowings plus all this cleanup of my drill test, which is dusty. Also, this one is the 0601A. This one is meant to be more powerful. Unfortunately, I did not test it on the scale before I, you know, fucked it up. Dust should be freshly charged, but as you can see, the dust has gotten underneath the panels inside there too. So yeah, can't even see the top lead. Yeah, 110. So this one is meant to be more powerful. Uh, but obviously it has suffered a little bit from the dust, but she is still kicking. So I'm just going to crack this thing open and see if we can, you know, clean the dust out. Keep her, keep her chugging along. Actually, before I take it apart, one of the good things about this reverse is if it does get full of dust after a dusty session, you can put it in reverse. And kind of clean it out a little bit as well. Obviously the bearings in there, they're gonna plug up with dust and wear out eventually, but uh, anyway, let's take her apart. <laughs> All right, so the dust goes fully through everything, even down on the batteries. Not too surprising though, because if you've got a bit of airflow, you do want to use it to try and keep the batteries cool. Okay, so it actually looks like the dust is not really going to get into the motor at all because on the back here, the air will go through the veins of the turbine and then this little cap uh, will cover up the bearing. And then the air flows through the inside of this barrel here, but the motor and the moving parts, they're all on the inside of this inner barrel here. So you see those little coils behind the board there. The rotor will be in the middle of that and basically the air is going to be flowing through the veins, through the inside of this chamber here, and then it's not really gonna turn around and then get into where the moving parts are. So that's why it's turned out so dust resistant. That is pretty good actually. And if we take a look at the board, uh, yep, that all gets dusty. But hang on, let me turn it on. Uh, and something cool I just noticed is that the, the trigger doesn't actually have any electronic triggering in here. It's just this bit of plastic with this tiny little magnet. Sorry, is that in focus? This tiny little magnet here. So there you go, that's a little magnet on the end. So yeah, a little magnetic sensor there, Hall effect sensor, little magnet. And when this goes near it, <laughs> very cool. So that is a very clever, very efficient way of doing a trigger mechanism. So no wipers or anything like that that are you know gonna wear out from the dust. Very clever. 
I'm impressed. Now, just out of interest, I took apart the green one as well. Interestingly, it looks basically identical. Certainly, oh, sorry, sir. The batteries are the same. So they both have these same markings, different batches, but exactly the same uh, model, 18650-30P. So 30P is the uh, three amp hour version. The manual says that the A has the three amp hour batteries in there. The green one was not meant to be the A, but it looks like I've gotten two A's. So this one, that one was mislabeled, aha. So uh, I guess that's good news because it means I have only tested the good one. Oh yeah, in fact, look at this, the A, 10 minutes runtime. The green one got about 10 minutes runtime. Yeah, okay, sure. So uh, that means basically I have not actually tested the 0601. I have only tested the 0601A. I got a mislabeled one. Uh, I guess that's good news. Makes the video a bit easier. But it also means that Ali AliExpress stuff, um, she can be a little random and a little dodgy. But I'll put the link, the actual link that I bought that one from. That one is the one I've evaluated here. So all the testing I did, still good. All right, now I'm just gonna try and get these back together. And she works. And speaking of dust resistance, if like me, you are installing anchors in rock in hard to reach places, uh, you can also get these guys from HowNotTo.com. My mate Kevin has bundled some of these with little hole cleaning things. And if you do want to get them from that website, I get a bit of a kickback and you get a 10% discount if you use the code in the description. But if it's cheaper for you to just buy it from Alibaba or whatever, or you don't want the extra hole cleaning stuff, yeah, whatever, you do you. So yeah, I am very keen on these little things. They fit in your pocket. They aren't disposable. They aren't a whole other power tool. Oh, and they're also not as janky and weird as this uh, 3D printed one that I showed you recently. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, technology guys, got to embrace it, got to love it. Ted Kaczynski was an idiot. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll blow you later.